Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be replacing the spark plugs on a 2014 Corolla with the 1.8 liter engine. You're going to need four spark plugs. This is the part number from Toyota. Torque spec on these are going to be 20 newton meters or 15 foot pounds. For tools, all you need is a 3 8 ratchet, 6 inch extension, 10 millimeter socket, 14 millimeter for the spark plug. And uh, this one over here is only if you have the one with the rubber insert. This one allows you to pull the spark plug in and out. Uh, it's There's got a rubber insert inside here to hold it. And then the torque wrench here to torque them down. So we'll start off just by removing the top cover here. That'll expose all of your ignition coils. We're gonna have one, two, three, four, all of them held down by a 10 millimeter nut. We're gonna go ahead and remove this one here first. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove the connector here. Now these can get stuck and are difficult to remove. So I'm gonna show you a trick on how to get this removed off pretty easy. So normally you just push down on the tab here and that'll make that pop up, but sometimes it doesn't clear it. So you can get a very small flathead and as you push down, this is not a lot of force, you just kind of help it get up and go ahead and pull it off. Now be very careful if you do this because if you put, put too much pressure and when you pry this up, you can break this tab. So just very light pressure, go slowly and just try to pry it up from here and just pull it out and out. The other thing you're going to want to do is do these one at a time. Don't try to do them all at the same time, like take all of them out and then put them all back in. Uh, the reason why is you're going to have the cylinders open and exposed so anything can possibly risk falling down in there and getting into the cylinder and that's going to be very very bad so just do them one at a time now when it comes to the extension and the socket what you're going to find is that if you don't have a extension that gives you the wobble feature and it's kind of just like this straight no movement at all you're gonna have trouble or difficulty getting it in past this cowl right here so highly recommend that you have either a wobble which will allow you to easily just go on in and bypass that and go in if you don't have that there's no, another alternative that's going to be with the use of a universal wobble like this the way this works is you just attach your extension to one end put your socket on the other and now you have a wobble feature so you can put this in like this don't have tape on yours otherwise it won't go down the hole now one thing to note when you pull out the old spark plug you want to make sure your new one matches pretty much the same as the one you pulled out. So you want to make sure they're about the same length and then you can put them on top of each other like this and make sure those threads kind of fit into each other. So if those threads fit into each other like this, then you got the right thread and if you got the right length and they look about the same thickness and diameter, then you pretty much got the right plug. That's how you can quickly check just to make sure you don't damage anything. So if you don't have the spark plug socket with the rubber insert, you can grab a magnet, something like this, attach it to the, the top part, and just feed it on down. And then with your finger over here, you can then grab it and just guide it all the way down. Don't just drop them from here. You can damage uh, the tip, close the gap, and then you'll have misfires on all your spark plugs, your brand new ones. So just guide it down gently. And once you run it all the way down, it comes to the end stop. You just gotta snug it down just a little bit, just about right there, about a 45 degree turn, not too much, and you're all done. I recommend you use a torque wrench to tighten down all your spark plugs. Now you got it down torque to 20 newton meters. So you're gonna just do the rest of it in a reverse order. This procedure is going to be the same for every other spark plug. The only difference is going to be uh, cylinder number one. You're just going to need to remove one additional connector. Otherwise, your socket's going to get in the way of removing it. So I'm going to show you that real quick. These, if you're, if you're at all interested, this is a 10 foot pound torque, but just snug it down. Just don't, not too tight. Just 
as long as it's touching, making contact, you're fine. But in case you're wondering, it's 10 foot pounds for that tor uh, torque spec right here. And clip it in and you're all done. So yeah, you're gonna do the rest, same exact way on all the other ones. The difference with cylinder one over here is this connector's kind of in the way. So like your socket kind of goes in at an angle. See this? Now, you will be tempted to just remove this at an angle, don't do it. Just remove the connector. It's very easy, just same, same as the other ones, just push on the tab. Pull it on out. And now you have easy access. There you go. Once you're done with it, go ahead, clip it back in. You're good. All right guys, so that's the end of the video. As you can see, it's a really easy job to do. Only one cover, simple tools. If you learned something or if you got value from this video, please consider subscribing. We'll see you in the next one. Click right here and you'll find a video for replacing the cabin air filter on the same car.